Hey y'all, now your girl at Sharifia all and one this. Come on, make we cook and chop a lot. I'm a Ghana. I'm a Ghana. It's at 65. Yes, by looking at what I have in front of me, you know it's at the. And what better way to celebrate 65? To make this festive, at the, we are going to be needing four slightly ripe plantain, some Kobe, some Momone, onion, habanero peppers, some palm oil, and some peanuts for garnishing. Just roasting my Kobe to give my Eto a nice smoky flavor. Now, for the people that don't know, Kobe is just tilapia that has been salted, heavily salted. If you have never worked with Kobe before, it is your best interest to always soak them ahead of time just to get as much salt out as possible because if you're not careful, it's going to ruin your dish. My Kobe looks good, just the right amount of char on it. So with this, I'm going to soak it in cold water just to get a little bit more of the salt off before I put it with my plantains. So as you can see, I did not peel my plantains just because I don't want it to retain some of the water. To save time, I am going to boil my sweet plantain with my habanero pepper, my Kobe, and my eggs. Now, I'm not going to add any salt to this. Like I said, the Kobe goes a long way. Cover it and let your plantain, Kobe, eggs, and pepper cook for a good 15 to 20 minutes. Then you can remove your Kobe. From the squeeze of the plantain, it looks like they are done. So I am going to turn off the fire and let it cool down. I took some of my chopped onions and I added it to my boiled habanero pepper and I'm going to grind it now. So, you know, some people um, like to also cook their onion in the process of making the eto, but I actually like the fresh flavor of the onions instead of it being cooked. So, you know, you might want to try both to see which one suits your taste buds. So here I am just deboning my Kobe. Now you can use it whole like this, but um, I have kids that are going to eat this also. So I like to take all the bones out and save it for a different dish. Now I'm going to use the scraps from the bone to grind my um, onion and pepper mixture. I'm going to add some of my peanuts and make sure I grind it smooth. My peanuts are smooth enough, so I am going to 
peel my sweet plantains and start mashing that away. My etto is smooth enough, so I'm going to go ahead and start frying my palm oil. I'm adding my momonet right now, and I'm going to fry it for about three minutes. In goes the rest of my onions. Now I'm going to fry that for about a minute or so. Then I'm going to add my Kobe. Allowing my Kobe additional three minutes to properly infuse my palm oil before I put it on my ethyl. You see how nice and fluffy my etto is. This is the reason why I cooked it with the skin on. So the plantains does not retain moisture. The aroma is just a die for. I can smell the Kobe, the momone, the onion, all of that goodness. So now I poured it all over my etto to give it a minute for the palm oil to gently sink into the plantains. Now I'm just garnishing it with some peanuts, baby, some granuts and some hard boiled eggs. Now you can go a step further, yes, and add some avocado as we may know it, paya. And trust me, you will not regret this. We finished kuku. Come make we chobla. Again, happy Independence Day to Ghana. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if this is your first time stopping by, a huge welcome to you. And yes, please hit that subscribe button. So every time I upload a video, you will be amongst the first to see it.